Hi guys, and today I'm going to be doing this smoky eye look. Um, I absolutely love it. It's not something I'm really used to because I'm I don't do many smoky um, eyes, but um, I wanted to try it out and see how it would go, and I really like it. I think I'm going to do more smoky eyes because I think they're so pretty with like a nude lip. So I really like it, and if you like it too, carry on watching. Thank you. So I'm going to start with my eyes because. When you like use like a lot of product on your eyes, sometimes it falls onto your face. So I'm going to do it now so then I can cover any like foliage or with like concealer and also it doesn't ruin my foundation. Because I put on foundation now and then like product falls on my face, it's gonna like ruin my whole like foundation and like concealer and stuff and contour. So I'm gonna start with eyes. So I'm using my um freedom palette. And I'm going to use like a pale colour to start off with so then we can build it up because obviously I'm doing a smoky eye so I like, want to make it like slowly transition it. So I'm going to start with the yellow colour and then I'm going to put this as the base. So now I'm taking the Revolution palette and I'm going, this is actually a contour palette. Yeah, I'm going to use one of the contour colours. <laughs> I'm gonna use one of the contour colours and I'm gonna put this um here to create like I think it's still like it makes your eyes bigger. So I'm just gonna put it here. So I'm putting it just here and it's just like also to help with like the transition because I am gonna be using a really dark colour for like the outer corners to make it more smoky it's just going to help build up the smokiness the big smokiness of the word so now i'm going to start to make it more smoky on the outers of my like on the outer of my eye and i'm taking the black from the Freedom palette. This is such a cheap palette and it's so good. I think it cost me like three pounds or four pounds. Like it was so cheap. So I'm gonna take the black color. This is a color where everything can go wrong. So I've just taken the black color and I'm just gonna kind of create like a wing, um, winged cat eye effect. So now I'm going to be taking this palette again. I'm going to be taking the Freedom and I'm going to be taking the pink and I'm putting this like on the top here just to make everything more pop and also for it to come together more. I think about this is like the pink is so subtle and I just think it's so nice and also like when you have a lot of contour and stuff on it just makes it it look so pretty. I'm only putting this colour and this is um I got from New Look and it's actually like, really expensive like it was like nine pounds to ten pounds but I got from New Look um and it's just like this really like glittery eyeshadow. I don't actually know what it's called it doesn't say say <laughs> but I broke it I was like no it's so glittery like can see that, that like, so glittery. I was gonna put this like on like the um over the pink just to make it pop. Um MAC purple and I'm putting this like on the waterline here. Um but this is like so broken because I act it's like so stupid. I had it in my back pocket. Uh, my mum washed um, my trousers and um, it was in my back pocket, so it got washed. But it's still alive, like I don't know if I'm actually meant to be putting this on my eye. This being the wash, like will it damage my eyes? Oh well. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just putting this on the um, waterline. Boying. Boy Boy, I think it is. Boy um, by Benefit Concealer. It's really weird. It has a really weird name. I'm like, 
girl sister and i'm using this this is like completely empty like i was like used all of it but i use um like the brush that it comes with it and i just like use that to put this on so i like dip it in and i'm like girl so i like dip it in and i apply it with this because i am too poor to afford an actual brush but i'm basically putting this like underneath my eyes and i'm gonna do it in like a triangle effect um, I do this because it is like to highlight my face as well. I get the concealer a few shades lighter than my skin. And I'm putting it on my chin as well. So yeah, I've just put it on my nose as well and I've just done like a straight line. Um, this is just to highlight my face as well. I'm putting it on my forehead, putting a little triangle on my face. These are all the places where your face is meant to be highlighted and meant to be highlighted brought back. So yeah, I'm using my Primark sponge and I'm just going to blend it all in. I'm going to be taking my Revolution palette and this is like the god of gods. Like I use this so much in my makeup routine and you probably have you ever seen any of my makeup routine? You probably haven't, but if you have, I use this so much. I'm like obsessed. It's like my bae, like my boyfriend. So yeah, I'm using this white colour, um, and I'm gonna be putting this underneath my eyes and all the places that I can put concealer. So yeah, I'm just putting this underneath my eye. And by the way, I'm using this brush. This is a Techniques brush. And it's literally like the best thing ever. Like I use it for highlighting, powdering, contouring, everything like to do with makeup, I use this brush. Now I'm taking this like orangey powder and I'm just gonna set my entire face. So my favorite thing of all is contouring like Contour is like my bay of life, like it's like the best thing ever. I'm obsessed with it. I think like it's literally my obsession. I love having cheekbones, it makes me feel like so happy. I just love cheekbones. So I'm taking this like the Revolution palette again. Yeah. I'm taking the darker colour, this one here, and I take my brush that I did um my eyeshadow with. So now I'm going to be doing the forehead, the forehead, I have like a massive forehead so I like just follow like my hairline. And now I'm going to be doing my nose, I don't do my nose that often but I'm just thought I don't say like, so you just put a little bit, I don't like when nose contours like really harsh because they just look really so now I'm going to blend it all in. I'm not just going to leave it because this will look crazy. Everyone outside just like this be like, hi guys. Now I'm taking the Hoola bronzer and I'm just going to go over it all again. Just give, make it stand out more like, I do it more on my cheekbones than anything else. Like I don't bother to do it like on my forehead again. I just do it on my cheekbones. Cause but I love cheekbones. Like I wear a lot of makeup and people probably think it's crazy and probably don't think it's natural and it's not like what people wear and stuff. But I do it because I just I love expressing myself. I love colour and I don't need people's opinion. Like if I want to wear 50 layers of contour, I'm gonna do that because that makes me happy and. You know, makeup's there to make you feel happy and confident and, you know, nobody should ever stop you wearing it. So, now I'm going to highlight my face. I'm going to use the Sleek Highlighting Palette. I'm going to be using this, like, purpley white highlight. And I'm using the Benefit Brow. I've had this for nearly, like, two years. That I think it's crazy, but it's honestly, like, my favourite eyebrow thing ever so good I really like the front the front of it to be like really natural and then at the end I do look really thick but I like the front to be as natural as possible 
so I just go upwards and then sometimes I'll just take my finger and just blend it. So I just go up and then blend. I just fill in the rest of my brow with this colour. This eyebrow gel to put them in place because I have really like thick hair. So I just put them in place. So they stay in place all day. Lip stain and it's by NYX. And I love it so much. It's so pretty and it's like the nicest nude ever. I feel like with smoky eyes, you can't really, like you can go bold with your lips, but personally I like to go nude. Like if I'm doing a really dramatic eye look, I'd rather go really nude on my lips. Look at me with my shades. So Tumblr. So Tumblr. <laughs> it's good. <sighs> Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing week. I hope you always stay true to yourself. Always be yourself. Don't let anybody like tear you down because you're worth more than that and nobody is allowed and nobody should ever treat you badly because what right do they have to do that? So yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. Lots of love. Bye!